Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Vaseline. Maybelline has been using men to promote their products since 2017. So why are conservatives just freaking out over Ryan Vita? They're calling the promotion disturbing. They're calling for a boycott. They're calling it the next Bud Light situation. I don't really understand this push for a boycott in this instance, other than us just seeing a rise in hatred or discomfort towards those who don't conform to gender norms. I mean, is that what's really at the heart of all this? Is this all about protecting gender norms? Are we at a point now where anything that doesn't conform to gender norms is demonized by uh, certain groups? I mean, this is a cosmetics company we're talking about here. This isn't a beer brand that was often associated with masculinity. They're not trying to shed what they consider their toxic roots. And again, Maybelline has used men to promote their products, have used men wearing makeup to promote their products since 2017. You know, this isn't an attention whore who is claiming day 380 or whatever of being a girl. Ryan Vita is simply a guy who wears and talks about makeup. I mean, would they have been just as pissed off if it would have been Jeffree Star? So, yeah, what's the deal? Are, are people really in this mindset of, we're not going to take it anymore, as if they're being personally attacked by seeing gender nonconformity? Does seeing a guy with a beard wearing makeup mess with people that badly? Now, perhaps you see it as a sign of the dismantlement of society, as a dismantlement of standards, roles, and rules, and that we need to protect tradition. Well, if that's really how you feel, I think you've taken your mindset to extremes. I mean, sure, it is somewhat the dismantlement of visual standards, but that happens virtually every time there's a significant new fashion trend. I'm not into dismantling society, as I've said many times, but I think this is harmless. Ryan isn't a teacher, he isn't traveling to elementary schools and giving speeches, he's not ranting about toxic masculinity. He was simply featured by Maybelline, a cosmetics company. I seriously don't see the big deal. But if you do see this as a big deal, how locked down do you think society should be? Should we look and act more like we did in the 1940s? Should men and women have to dress and act a very particular way? And how would we enforce such things? Would we shame people? Sounds like quite the dystopia to me. I sincerely don't think men wearing makeup is going to dismantle anything except good taste. Just saying.